Hi, my name is Jonathan, and welcome to Economics 101. Today, we're going to talk about the problem of food wastage. You know, since we live in a place where food is so readily available, we often disregard the fact that wasting food can cause real problems for our society. The data shows that a significant percentage of food waste, specifically 33%, comes from bad business practices, especially from buffet establishments and joints. One key reason why this is so is due to the fact that these establishments don't take the appropriate measures to discourage the wastage of food. A lot of these buffets actually put in place measures, such as fees, to curb food wastage. But in reality, these measures just don't work. They don't take into account behavioral economics, such as sunk cost fallacy. Sunk cost refers to costs, such as time, effort, or money that has already been spent and cannot be taken back. In this case, the sunk cost will refer to fees for entering the buffet hall. These customers will be more likely to try to honor the sunk cost, even if the marginal cost exceeds the marginal benefit of doing so. Fees implemented by buffets attempt to solve the problem of sunk cost fallacy, yet these measures may not always be strictly applied to prevent sunk cost fallacy, resulting in the problem of externality caused by food waste to still occur. Sounds confusing? Well, let's head over to the theory board where my friend Ethan will delve deeper into how buffets can actually solve this problem. Now that we know about this problem, we devised a way to help solve food wastage in buffets. To give a brief overview, our solution comprises of three parts, reward, penalize, and educate. Our first solution uses incentive theory, financial incentives such as rewards and discounts to motivate a specific behavior, which in this case is wasting less food. As seen from the skit, customers will take the remains of their meal and place it on a weighing scale which will weigh how much food was wasted, if at all. Based on the amount of food left, customers are entitled to discount vouchers, which can be used in future purchases at the buffet joint. Now, onto our second solution, Penalize. This method increases the marginal private cost of consuming food to match the marginal external cost produced. As seen on this diagram, it thus allows us to reduce the overconsumption problem. A waiter will then collect the leftovers and dump them into the waste meter, which is a machine used to accurately measure the amount of food wasted. A receipt reflecting the customer's bill is then dispensed, and assuming that the customer wasted food, he will pay a surcharge that is proportional to the amount of food left over. Now, on to our final solution, Educate. This method reduces the imperfect information faced by consumers. As they now know the true marginal private benefit of consuming food, the overconsumption problem due to their initial higher perceived marginal private benefit will be reduced. Posters about a food waste program will be put up to raise awareness and tackle the problem about imperfect information. There will be weekly giveaways, as seen from the video, to encourage people to enter the buffet. This aims to help people learn to become more conservative about food waste. Overall, our solutions work hand in hand to help reduce the external costs and negative externalities mentioned previously. These solutions will be aimed at lowering the amount of food waste and increasing profit margins for restaurants. This is due to the fact that there will be lower costs for fruit production. These solutions might lead to unintended and undesired consequences. For example, some might bring plastic bags to buffets in order to hide their food waste in order to obtain discounts and evade the food waste penalty. Overall, while these solutions are not perfect, they are a step in the right direction in mitigating the impacts of food waste. We can only hope that similar solutions can be implemented in the long run. Sorry, didn't see you there. Well, that's it for Economics 101. We believe our solutions will most definitely solve the problem of food waste in Singapore. 
specifically buffet joints. See you next time.